This Day in New York Sports History is brought to you by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American to play in Major League Baseball when he took the field for the Dodgers, breaking the color barrier that has segregated the sport for more than 50 years. Jackie was born in Cairo, Georgia in 1919 to a family of sharecroppers. In 1945, Jackie played one season in the Negro Baseball League as a member of the Kansas City Monarchs. In 1947, Brooklyn Dodgers president Branch Rickey approached Jackie about joining his team. He was called up to the majors five days before the start of the season. On April 15, 1947, in front of a crowd of over 25,000 fans, Jackie made his debut for the Dodgers at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. He failed to get a base hit in that first game, but reached base on an error and scored a run in Brooklyn's 5-3 win over the Boston Braves. After his first season with the Dodgers, Jackie was named Rookie of the Year with 12 home runs, 29 steals, and a 297 average. In 1949, he was selected as the National League MVP and also won the batting title with an average of 342. He played in the majors for 10 years and beat the New York Yankees to win the World Series in 1955. He retired at the end of the 1956 season and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. On October 24th, 1972, Jackie Robinson passed away from a heart attack at the age of 53. In 1997, MLB retired his number 42 across all major league teams. In 2004, then-Commissioner Bud Selig announced April 15 will be known as Jackie Robinson Day, and starting in 2009, all players, managers, coaches, and umpires wore number 42 that day, and that tradition lives on.